Hi guys, this is my Firefox 8 versus Google Chrome 16 internet browser video review, bit of a mouthful there. Um, basically, I'm just going to go through the one new feature Chrome 16 stable has um, compared to Chrome 14 and 15, and then I'll do a few direct comparisons. Usually these kind of videos are about 6-7 minutes long. This one might be a bit longer, might be 8 or 9, because I want to try and flesh out the uh, comparison side of things. So usually I do a startup speed comparison and you know a direct side-by-side comparison in terms of loading uh, web pages but I thought I'd also include a new a few new tests the acid 3 test which I've done before but not all in one go Sunspire test it takes a while to do so I've just basically put a graph of the results I've done um, I did three runs through of each browser and I put the averages up into uh, a bar chart and memory utilization so basically how many you know how much memory is used by the Chrome browser and the Mozilla Firefox browser uh, when opening a certain number of uh, tabs and they're the same website, so seeing how much web memory they use for those who maybe have not as much RAM as others. A um, few things. First of all, I'm really sorry if I arm and R quite a lot more than often, uh, like then, <laughs> because I actually did this review about four hours earlier, but for some stupid reason my encoder won't render it, so it uh, has a format available, you know, a format that YouTube can use. So I'm doing this live with no edits kind of thing, so I can just upload it straight away without rendering, you know, editing it in a pro, uh, another piece of software. So I'm really sorry if I, I'm an R a bit, because I usually get rid of quite a few of them when I edit it. And the other thing is, I just like to, I haven't, you know, done videos for about three months now. I've been at university, and I've looked at my previous uh, Chrome versus Firefox video review, which was Chrome 14 versus Firefox 6, so you can tell how long I've been away. And it's got something like 26 likes, so I just want to say thank you to my subs and whoever watched that video has got like six and a half thousand views. So I just want to say thank you for watching this video, uh, or this video and my previous videos, and hope you enjoy it. So if we just get started, the main I've, I've, I've you don't really need me to tell you I've got rid of all the uh, cache and got rid of all the extensions and stuff like AdBlock, which might give an advantage. So I've deleted all the history and stuff like that. So everything should be um, directly as it is when you first install uh, Firefox or Chrome. So the only new browser uh, feature I know about in Chrome 16 is you can go to the tools here in the top right hand corner and if you go to sign in, I won't do it because it will give away my name, uh, my full name, but you can sign in and you can see I've got my bookmarks at the top here. If I sign into my account it will stay like this but if you share your PC with an, you know your mum or your dad or your you know your family or a roommate, they might have completely different uh, tabs to you, and it's a bit annoying if you're trying to search for your you know through maybe two or three people's tabs at top, and it gets all cluttered and stuff. But if you sign in and have separate accounts, as soon as you sign in, it gets rid, you know, it customizes the browser for you. So maybe if he's only got three tabs and you've got like ten, or if you if he signs into his one, for example, it's your roommate, then his one will only have three. You know, it will be his personal Chrome. And I think uh, history and stuff like that isn't shared, so you know you can't tell what kind of naughty websites you've been going on, basically. So that's the only main new feature, uh, you know, on the feature side for Chrome 16. So if we do the first thing, which is a startup speed comparison, Chrome usually wins this actually. So we we'll see if Firefox with Firefox 8 now has taken the lead, or Chrome 16 still has it. So if I do Firefox first. That was very fast. I probably that was a bit faster than usual, actually. You know, previous version of Firefox 6 that I reviewed a few months ago. Do Chrome now. Um, that was quite a lot faster. Um, I think Firefox has closed the gap a bit, though. So maybe yeah, that's good news. It's still, you know, both of them open up very fast. You know, there's very little difference in it now, which is good. You know, uh, the next one we do is, you know, side by side speed tests. Um, I'll just show you. This is the newest version of Google Chrome 16.0.91263, and Firefox. It's the uh, how do you get onto it? Help Firefox 8.01. So uh, I've got rid of uh, all anything that would give it an advantage, and there's no like ad block and stuff like that. So if we do quite a few websites that have got loads of um, uh, pictures, like the Daily Mail. I'll do Firefox first. Obviously, it's not going to be completely accurate because I have to click twice, but it will be within you know a tenth of a second, roughly. Hmm. 
that was <laughs> that was easily chrome. I think it hung a bit there for some reason. I'm not really sure why. And this seems to be zoomed in a bit. Let me just zoom it out so roughly the same size. Um, chrome easily won that. Firefox is only just finishing loading now. If we do BBC, which is another website with lots of pictures. For those of you in the UK who watch my videos, how do you like the new BBC website? I think it's um, basically a radical departure from the old one, but it's a quite a lot more interactive. I actually like it. It's a bit quite a lot different though, so maybe some people won't. So if I do Chrome first. That was quite close actually, because even though this uh, got the main things up first, uh, this basic BBC on Firefox basically loaded straight away almost. So that was quite a lot closer. And since I clicked on Chrome first, I'd probably say that was almost a tie. If I do Eurogamer, which has got lots of pictures, they've actually upgraded their website as well. It's a good website. I'll do Chrome again first. No, I'll do Firefox, sorry. Oh, they both haven't loaded the advert yet. That was very close. Um, I don't know actually. I didn't really see that much difference. I probably would have given it to Chrome, but barely, very barely. And last but not least, we do YouTube. Ooh, I think I've already done that for some reason. Um, if I do um, Dabs, just like a electronic site one. Do Firefox first. That was probably Chrome roughly roughly ahead. It's quite good actually though because before I think if you remember my previous ones right at the beginning, uh, Chrome was roaring ahead sometimes, but that's not really the case now. They're roughly the same, which is good, which is good. Um, so if I minimize this and show you the next part, because yeah, it's Sun Spider, which takes ages to uh, go through. It takes like a 30 seconds for each browser, and I've done three run-throughs to get the average. It's in milliseconds, by the way. Lower is better. And as you can see, Firefox 8 easily beats Chrome uh, 14, which is what I previously reviewed, and the newer version, which for some reason gets a higher score, which is worse than its older, you know, its predecessor. But maybe that's just because it's quite a new uh, release. But it's in the wrong order, but you can see Firefox 7 to Firefox 9 has actually got a very good improvement. You know, it's decreasing every time, which is very good. So for Java, at least, it seems Firefox is ahead of Chrome. And then the next one is actually the last one, which would be... Oh, no, sorry, we've got Acid 3 next. Sorry, this is why I really do need to get rid of, you know, <laughs> use my editing software, because I know I get a bit ditzy sometimes. So Acid 3 test, um, I think Chrome got, Chrome 14 got 344, I'm oh, sorry, this is the other one, 100, um, Firefox got 97 last time I remember, but they've actually patched it this time, so it might get the same number. It does, so Firefox is now patched to 100, it used to be 97, and then the last one we need to do is memory utilisation, so if I open up, uh, let's say YouTube, Eurogamer, the BBC website, and eBay, and do the exact same on this one. BBC and eBay. You no, know, because it's a bit of a real world test because you know not everyone's most people are gonna have you know multiple tabs open at once and wait for it to load or finish loading. Then you press control alt delete and get your start task manager up. And if we make it a bit smaller, you can see it now. Obviously, there's tons of tasks going on. The main Firefox is at 120, 130 roughly, and Chrome is at 68. You think, oh well, you know, Chrome's much more uh, memory conservative, but uh, there are lots of smaller containers for Chrome. Um, the plugin container here is for Firefox, I believe, as well. So you have to add them up, which is roughly 192. But if you add up this one, which is let's say 70. Plus 50, 120, uh, plus 40, 160, 180, uh, 194, 200, and well, 210 roughly. It's actually ahead of um, Firefox. So it, it looks smaller to start off with, but Firefox is at roughly 198, uh, no, sorry, less than, less than that, 192 
but Chrome, if you add up all the different uh, containers, because obviously Firefox has only got one container, then if you add them all up, Firefox actually uses slightly more memory for the same amount of tabs and the same websites, about 212, uh, kil uh, 212 megabytes compared to 192 megabytes. So Firefox wins um, in memory utilization terms. So yeah, um, that's that video. I'm really sorry for all the ums and ahs, but if you want to blame anyone, blame Camtasia for the re rendering software they have, which is sometimes a bit iffy. It does work usually, so I do recommend them, but it's just decided not to do it this well, <laughs> not to do it today. So um, I would still recommend Chrome over Firefox for speed, but Firefox is much more customizable, I find. I, I like the extensions more on Firefox than Chrome. So if you like customizing your browser with like skins, I mean both of these have got skins anyway, but I mean the Firefox one looks kind of cool compared to the Chrome one, but it's a, Chrome is much more minimalistic, so if you just want speed, I go with Chrome, but for most other things I go with Firefox. So thanks for watching, um, rate, comment and subscribe.